Greetings, everyone. We are the usual in-between. This is our game night, and we are taking a leap through time. What is a leap through time, you may ask? I'm not quite sure myself. All I know is we're in this escape room, and we have to get back to our own timeline, or we may face the disastrous fate of being stuck in the 80s. Rio by Duran Duran starts playing. <laughs> I'm still just a dude that's singing the time. <laughs> oh, Rio, Rio, dance across the Rio Grand. We're gonna get. I'm, we're gonna get. I'm attempting copyright. not to get copyright <laughs> struck. <laughs> so I'm in the bar. Copyright, copyright, off. copyright. So I'm in the bar. It... Called me and left me a voicemail once. So I think that's okay. They need the publicity. He called you and said, "We need this." Mm -hmm. He called and said, yeah. hello, your boyfriend asked me to call you, but you did not answer. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. All right. No, seriously. How are we getting out of here, though? What What are we doing? Okay. So, this is a leap through time, um, and it starts as, you're an inventor who has theorized it is possible to time travel within one's own lifetime. After years of work, you finally built your machine out of a telephone booth you found in a junkyard. Using the plutonium you stole from Libyan terrorists. Literally? You, wow. Literally Libyan terrorists. Uh, you are finally ready to test it. Hacking into a government computer system for more power, you turn on the machine and take a bold step inside. However, things do not go as planned. And instead, you're hurled back in time, 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 time. Going back in time. When you awake, you find that you physically been, uh, you physically transported or leapt into an 80s movie from your youth. Uh oh. Um, you must solve the puzzle inside each movie in order to leave. Once you provide the correct answer, you'll be allowed to leap into a new reality each time. You're doing great. Hoping it's back to the present. Uh, you must fix what is wrong and hope each time that your next leap will be the leap home. Yo, All I right, so sliders. solve the puzzles. Don't think about Marshmallow oh my Man, God. and we should be fine. <laughs> there was Don't one think about Marshmallows. Movie. Was there a Doctor Who movie? In the 80s. Yes. yes. Um, Many. America oh, no. did a doc there was actually an American Doctor Who movie. Um, it is oh, where no. one of the doctors Inspector comes Space from. Time? <laughs> no community now? people here. All right. No. I love community. Oh, no. <laughs> However, <laughs> don't interrupt my Doctor Who history facts. No. <laughs> you. All right. Are we ready to start? All facts yeah. from, from Doctor Who are Doctor Who history facts because he travels through time. <sighs> All right. Uh, who wants to read the first puzzle? Oh, I'll take familiar. it. Familiar. Ah. Oh, start. Do you click start? Yes, <laughs> yes you should. Do. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Mm. You'll know you're where you're supposed to be when you see something that says, Phone home. You are whirling through space and time in an uncontrollable tumble. Streaks of blue lights flash around you as you speed past, and then suddenly everything goes blank. You wake up to find yourself surrounded by trees. It appears you're in some sort of forest. It's dusk, and a hazy fog blankets the ground. You look down at your feet and are startled to find they are brown, stubby, and barefoot. Your hands have long, <laughs> skinny, wrinkled fingers, and one appears to be glowing. <laughs> it seems you might not be human. <laughs> what the heck are you? Your amazement is broken by the voice of a child next to you. He's dressed like some sort of ghoul. Is it Halloween? So, Halloween. this should let you call home? I hope you know how to use it. What are you going to say? You look down at this weird contraption, which looks like it was inspired by a Buck Rogers style technology. Who? You must decode the letters <laughs> to send the right distress signal. Answer it correctly, and you should be able to leap out of here. Doctor Who. Oh. Doctor Who. Do Who's Doctor Buck Rogers? What? I feel like we need to like... Buck Rogers is like a know. 50s uh, sci-fi action or what, 60s maybe Ooh. I don't remember I think 60s I'm not sure though 
As someone who was born in 97. <laughs> As someone yeah, who was I, born in 1797. Yes, tell I, me, tell yeah. me Personally, exactly. <laughs> I prefer Duck Dodger. Right. And the 24th century. <laughs> you know, that that's where I'm at. Yeah. Wait, that sounds familiar. What is that? Is Duck Dodger a thing? Yes. Yeah, it sounds Duck real Dodger. familiar. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Dodgers... it's it's Buck Rogers. Duck Dodger is a spoof of Buck Rogers. That's right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like oh, Dick Tracy okay. and Duck Tracy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I get it. Now that we've got our <laughs> I, references I down, this picture is not a speaking spell, but looks a lot like a fucking speaking spell. Yeah. Is Did it I a say speaking fuck? spell? No, it's no. not. Speaking spells had those weird, like, I don't know why, why I remember this, but they have these weird, like, membrane covered keys that were like oh. they were like all one layer oh, yeah yeah i don't remember that i am i am scared let's see okay so <laughs> oh, presumably a five letter word and then all right i don't I think even the see first the letter the is b because below the speak and spell thing we have this konami code <laughs> looking string of letters and arrows yeah. and it's l with an up and the letter above l is b and okay. what? Yeah, well, I assume up the two to the ups right is are e. the same. So I think the first word is B. What? Oh, I see. Yeah, it is. So it is. it's it start from L, the na- and then you end on where wherever the direction ends. Oh, that's where you end. I so see. L B. Okay. So then from N, you go up, right. up and so to the D, right. Okay, e. I see. So Got the it. first okay. word is B E B. Yeah, it's a, then, no the first one. Yeah, B E and then G O G O E. No, no wait, G O O W is be good. Be yeah. good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Up up. Be yeah. good. Yeah, be good. That's be good. good. Okay. No, that is that's totally it. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Oh, I put it in the need help section. Fucking <laughs> whoops. Oh, I did too. I Does that have to be capitalized? No. No, all lowercase. Oh, we did it. Uh, nailed it. So, Spencer, did you want to read this one? Or shall I read it? <laughs> oh, no. Asia. Okay, because... Try a little, try a little tenderness. Right, because it's pretty pink. <laughs> A flash of blue light disappears and you find yourself now inside of a store. It is covered wall to wall in vintage LP records and posters of bands you faintly remember knowing once. Decorated with names like The Smiths, Echo and the Bunnymen, The Psychedelic Furs, OMD. You know what this is. The place you spend hours of your adolescence. It's a record shop. People used to stay in these stores and shop for music while soaking in the vibes of eclectic staff. But what were you doing here? You're dressed in a suit, but not really. A mustard tan jacket with checked vest and a red button-up shirt. Slightly short pants and white leather soles. It feels almost as though you got dressed in the dark, but it all all worked out in some odd... Oh my gosh. But it all worked out in some odd way. In front of you are two women looking at you with mild amusement. One that you can tell is a friend and one that you suspect is maybe more. Or not. You just can't tell. It's almost as if you make the perfect pair, but she just doesn't see it. The music starts playing. You know this tune. It is a very good tune. Your mother used to sing this. You're compelled to dance and lip sync around the store. (laughs) Should I I not sing though? (laughs) Don't tease her. Never leave her. Got to, got to, go na na. Got to. Try a little tenderness. Solve the puzzle to find out where you are. Oh. Wait, I thought it told us where we were. Yeah, we're in a record store. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> could be, what's, what's the question? Like, what do you mean, where find the answer here? with the puzzle. For... Which, okay. this is interesting. Alright, I see comic books. I yeah, see there's letters. comics and, and records. Hmm. Okay, but what's the question that we're? What's the what's the actual question? Four, I don't know. Four, two, <laughs> I figured one, out the three. answer. Yep. What? I figured out the answer, and that's that's a good one. 
Okay. Well, Tony, you you're part. You want me to, you want me to s- spoil it for? Okay, cool. Well, I I I wanted to let someone else oh, like try I, to I start rem- working through. I know through. it is. I yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. One, then two, then three, Aww. then four, and keep yeah. going in that order. For example, yeah, read them one, the first F- one is F, R, two, R, R- E, and then start back at one. N, G, B, friend zone. Z, O, N, E. Wait, we're in the friend zone? Yeah. What? Have you not seen the movie? I actually haven't. I, I have Wait, is that where it. is that where it was coined? Is that where that that like term huh. went, like? I don't know. I, I don't doubt think so. It. That's really interesting. It's just that he was. <laughs> he was, yeah. <laughs> All right. Boom. What's this? The Goonies? I think so. Oh, it is the Goonies. I think it is. Yeah, yeah it's Goonies. It's, uh... All right, I'll do it. I'll read it. Okay. Never say die. The first thing you notice is the smell. It has a dampness to it with an odor of burnt orange peel. When your vision comes to, you see in front of you a large skeleton. He's surrounded by bones that resemble a sort of throne. The walls around you are stone and the floor below, at least what remains of it, is stone as well. Huge missing sections of the ground near your feet land to or lead to a drop of 100 feet or more. You only have a small section where you and your group can stand. A hand touches your shoulder and you notice the group of people anxiously waiting on you. Hey, I believe in you. Goonies always make mistakes. One more wrong note and that final piece of floor is going to fall too. So just don't make any more. You look down and notice more bones and rows across the length of the skeleton on the, like a table. This is an organ. No, it's bones. But this monstrosity is nothing but the piano, or nothing like the piano, but this monstrosity is nothing like the piano in your mother's home. Your fingers hover over the keys made of bones. What's the next note? There is sheet music sitting atop the keys. As you read it, you can tell this is not like a reg- like regular sheet music. It's some sort of encrypted message. You say to yourself, I can't tell if this is normally an A sharp or a B flat. The boy next to you jokes, well, if you get this wrong, we'll all be flat. (laughs) You slap Ah. him off the ledge and decipher the sheet music. (laughs) We'll all be flat. Okay. Why? Um, Who can read music? Because I know that's F. I can. F, C, E. No, wait. But yeah. there's that thing on the line, on the on the yeah. on the side. I don't know what that oh, is. Where? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Lines. Uh, I don't think we need so to read it. Oh, okay. She music. It's my actually just the M- words. M- more. Oh. So it's M R O R E more S S more or less L L E L E S S more lessons. Oh yeah. More lessons. Yep. More lessons. I helped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not more lessons. It's not letting me. You need a space. Oh, yeah. Dumb. Sand. Why did it have to be sand? Oh, guys, I think this one's Star Wars. <laughs> I hate sand. <laughs> Rough and coarse, and it gets everywhere. Sorry, wrong era of Star Wars. Uh, oh, God. No, I think it is the right era. Who hasn't gone yet? I haven't gone yet. Nate, take it away. <clears throat> Why did it have to be sand? The blue flash dissipates. And again, you find yourself in a cave. This one is different, though. Instead of the dampness from the previous one, there is a warm humidity in the air. This one is far more decorative with etchings on all of the surrounding walls. Jungle vines and moss grow among this ancient site. Wait a minute. You know this movie. To get here, you first had to traverse across multiple booby traps, and then you barely made it to this point. Before you, on a stone pedestal, is the Chachapoyan fertility idol. I am so sorry. You need to steal this idol. And replace it with a bag of sand. Why did it have to be sand? 
Famously though, in this movie, you second guessed its weight and you removed some of the sand from the bag before exchanging it with the idol. You choose poorly and triggered the entire cave to begin collapsing. <laughs> this time, take a closer look around the idol and you notice along the front of the pedestal are etched in markings. Weird that you missed this the first time around. Decode the etchings to escape the cave. And we have a lovely picture of this idol. Oh, that's fun. And two grids with letters. Yeah, it's a it's a pig pen cipher. Yes. I don't know what a pig pen cipher is, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be... Uh... I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P-Q-R. Yep, so that is 18 letters. Yeah, it's just a standard pig pen cipher. Um, Depends on the dot. I don't know. So the first Don't keep letter... saying pig pen cipher. Explain G. what you the mean by that. The first letter is G. So, yeah, the way you dick. just... <laughs> Sorry, I'm having fun. I'm excited. I like puzzles. Um, <laughs> so the way a pig pen cipher works is you'll notice we have the two different um, tic-tac-toe style grids in the back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the first one corresponds to A, B, C, D, E, F, G... H-I-J. Wow, I'm great at letters. Um, so, for example, if the symbol was just a line on the bottom and a line on the right, making a little, you know, L-shaped corner, it would be the A, because that is the portion of that tic-tac-toe board that A rests on. B is next to it, so B would be left line, right line, and bottom line, so most of a box. And C would be... Oh, so cross. Line on the left and line on the bottom. Okay. Because it's the third one there. And then the, you'll notice the tic-tac-toe board on the right has dots in each of them to denote that it's the second one. So, for example, oh. the symbols oh, that we're okay. looking at on okay, the pedestal. So this is cool. Yep. G. Yeah. Great. Yeah, these are fun. There's still, even if you would, if make the whole one, the whole grid a letter, there's still, it's short by six. Yeah, yeah like, so that's why the letters. A and the R Normally, are there. It doesn't have all yeah. the letters. Yeah. Yeah, normally um, when you do a full pig pen cipher, you'll also have the last few letters taken up by two X's so that you have that shape, that wedge shape, being the next letter down in, in succession. Mm. Okay. It's uh, um, three, yeah, three grids, and then you have one extra character at the end. Um, okay, so let's figure okay. this out. Anyone right. get started already? Yeah, cool. it's, it's G, 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 O, okay. L, um, gold. D, yeah. yeah. I love gold. E, e, golden. And yeah, golden. 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 Good team. We yeah. golden. We we Gucci. We golden. Ooh. Okay. I can spell though. <laughs> ah, but can I? Oh. Shall we play a you game? What is this war game? I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Why? <know> this one. <laughs> No, this is this was a cult movie when I was a child. Tony, yes. Did you read one already? Did I? What? Did you read one? Read already? this one. Did I, oh yeah, I did read one. Yes. Okay. Um, are, uh, are we back to top of turn order, or I will, <laughs> I will, <laughs> I'll, I'll go again. Okay. Um, we should shall roll initiative for stuff game? like this. <laughs> yeah, yes. that'd be fun. That would really be fun. Okay. I don't know um, why Holiday Road just started playing in my head. <laughs> Wrong That's 80s the song movie, you associate bud. with good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. You wake up to find yourself in a chair surrounded by people. There are men in military uniforms, technicians, several scientists, and men and women in suits. Women can wear suits in the 80s? That's fun. Oh, to, could, they could, and they did. That's new fun. And those are those okay. shoulders. Those shoulders. <laughs> oh yeah, the shoulder yeah. pads. True. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Honestly, um, women are all... better than a lot of men. Frankly, <laughs> they're all standing there looking at you as you sit in front of a large computer. This is one of those old supercomputer types uh, with a black rounded screen and clunky keyboard keys. The le the letters. The letters. W O P R are imprinted on it. Ahead of you is a massive wall of TV screens, images of what look like maps, with blue lines and large white circles scattered across each one. You recognize the United States, Europe, and the old USSR. On the large oh, yeah. middle screen, <laughs> on the large middle screen, you find a series of letters. Come on, kid, do something! Yells one of the generals, hovering over your shoulder. 
Uh, on the screen in front of you is the phrase password in green lettering. Next to that is an impatiently blinking line awaiting the answer. A voice shouts, uh, a voice shouts out seven numbers, now eight. Uh, it now has eight of the launch code numbers. We need to hurry. You notice a scientist is over in the corner looking down at quickly changing numbers. You glance down at your keyboard letters. The answer has to be there somewhere. You need to figure this out and quick. Otherwise, you may never make it out of this one. What is the decoded password for the letters on the screen? Believable. Wait, I think I solved it. <laughs> okay. The only winning move is not to play. Mm. Oh God. I think we just have to close the mm. page. All right. Yep. Yep. We are, uh, <laughs> we've been the, the usual NPCs. This has been the usual in between. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. We just started World War Three. <laughs> <laughs> Can you edit in like like sirens blaring in the background? <laughs> uh, and it's just it's just uh, we're all typing that, and then someone comes and just no, no. <laughs> so wait, how? What's um, the method? Oh, a simple pig pen. I, I have no idea, oh. honestly. Oh God. Okay, Z. Diamond E Z Q E. Oh, that's not a diamond. That's an O. That's an O. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Z O E Z Q E Z G T. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we might need to. But we have Hold W. On. The letters W R P are imprinted on it. R. And we get w -O -P -R. letters. Okay, U.S., Europe, and U.S.S.R. Series of letters. Um, look at your keyboards. Is there anything about W O P R on keyboards? O P. Yeah. No. Oh, really? those are. I, I feel like that might. No, no, that's four countries though. They're not. No, yeah. they're all in the top row. Yeah. Yeah. But O is in the password. Yeah. Hold on. All right. Wake up to find the letters. Ah. Let's see. Wait, let's see. When they say they're imprinted on it, what does that mean? Is it a keyboard with only four letters? Unlikely, but possible. <laughs> it's a D pad. Wait. The only thing I'm thinking of is like in the picture. I might have to zoom into this. Is it like, is the map of the United States versus Europe versus the USSR relevant? Are the letters yeah, hidden on there? Yeah, there's a bunch of numbers somewhere? and shit all over them, but I don't know if they actually mean anything. Mm. No, I don't think so. Because normally all the letters and stuff so far on these have been really obvious and easy to see. So, yeah, it's letters just... W O P R and printed on it. On what? On the keyboard. On the keyboard. Yeah. W O P. Oh. No. Okay. Are we gonna vote? We should vote on whether or not we need a clue. Um. I hate using clues, but also this is yeah. content, so we have to move. <laughs> oh no! Editing will take this out. Oh well, in that case, we'll, we'll look. We'll look smart. We'll look Hints smart. Are for cowards. I like looking smart, though. I love this idea that you, the password, like the, the the answer, is inside the keyboard because it has letters. Like, like you, know, you just have to mine it. It's like it's Wait, like yeah. what's that? What's um the, the the files are inside the computer. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> T. Um. So T. Well, on no, wait. T. Someone write this down. T. Uh oh, I didn't. Can I borrow a pen? T I T I C. Wax stamp and seal. T I C T. T T. Tic tac toe. A. Yeah, yeah, it's tic tac toe. Wait, how did you get that? How did you get it? Yeah. If you look, it's A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P. If you're looking at the keyboard, the keyboard is the clue. Because if you look at the keyboard and then you instead change Q to A, and then start there. A B C. Wait, what? A B C D. I yeah. Think. How did you get start on A? I mean, I guess oh, it's the oh, alphabetic A B C. Yeah, it's D. alphabetical. 
Oh. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, that's fun. I was doing. I was doing it the other way. I literally don't understand. How'd you get that from the W O P R hint? I was doing A Q. I was doing A Q Z because you said. I mean, looking at the letters. That's all. A B C. And then wait. Why Z would have been? Hold on. Wait. A B. Well, tic tac toe works out, but hold on. Let me tic tac toe also works out because all three of them start with a T, and that's relevant to the movie. So, well, what if it's? I'm good with that. Oh, and C, A, B, C, H, E, E, F, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W. Check, check, toe seems So, C, W? No, that doesn't make any sense. C, W. Yeah, I don't... Did you want to try it? Yeah, it's tic-tac-toe. Oh, I didn't put it in. Oh. I'm going to press one of the hints just to see, like, what I should have... Oh, it's fucking useless ass hint. I don't cool. think it is tic tac toe. It is. It is. Why can't I spell? I I'm all out of bubble. Oh bubble. look, this guy's wearing my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Good old flannel. Oh. Cool. I moved uh, to the Midwest and I got a, a taste for flannel. Let's just go clock. Mm. Oh, I don't know who clockwise is. As like, do you want to roll initiative? Do we want to roll initiative? Do I not Let's have roll dice initiative. within reaching distance? Oh, I was gonna roll twenty. Don't. Okay. I have yeah, dice right no, here. That's what the roll. internet's for. I rolled a five. All right. What do we got? Actually. Oh, uh, what's my initiative bonus? <laughs> right. Uh, right. We're all at a plus two. Okay. okay. Uh, I got a seventeen. Well, then it doesn't matter. I got a seventeen also. Oh. I also got a 17. We rolling off? <laughs> well, no, just, wait. Leaves. Did you guys add the uh, modifier? The plus yeah, so two, 19. Yeah. 19 with modifier. Oh, yeah. Oh, mine's okay. 19 with Mine, modifier. No. Mine is a 17 with the modifier, so go ahead. Okay. Roll off, roll off. Also, Tony, All right. didn't roll. Get ready. Beat Don't, 15. Tony got a, uh, <laughs> 6 before modifier. Don't say you got I, a 15. I got I a 7. I got a 7 after modifier. <sighs> So I'm after I'm you. After mod. So Nate's first. All right. I did it. Nate, I won initiative. I really uh, <laughs> oh, shoot. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, I take the hide it. option. No, I got this. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> All out of bubble gum. You awake from the now familiar blue haze to find yourself in an alley. On each side of you, there are large buildings indicated that this must be a city of some kind. As you gather your bearings, you notice an open cardboard box at your feet. Inside are a handful of dark sunglasses. You grab a pair and make your way out of the alley. Aw, yeah. It's daytime and the city is lively with people walking from place to place. The standard city sounds of car horns and traffic fill the air as you walk to try on your new glasses you picked up. Immediately, you notice that they are not normal at all. They block out all color and turn the world around you into black and white. In an even greater astonishment, you notice that they change the appearance of signs. Regular advertisements are instead replaced with bold-faced commands like hit the subscribe button, <laughs> like, comment, Ring the share, notification bell. Ring the bell. What the heck is this? It seems the signs all around are giving subliminal orders. Out of the corner of your eye, you notice a man running up to you. Half delirious, he shouts out, Hey man, frozen bunny gap, frozen bunny gap, man. What's this guy trying to tell you? Solve this and move on. I actually do not know this movie. Was that Shaggy? It's, it's um, <laughs> the movie is, it is not. Uh, they hey, live. Man. It's John Carpenter's They Live, which I only know because I watched a, a commentary on it like last mm. week. I know, I know the glasses. I just Crazy. have never seen the original movie. I we could watch it. I have it. I I, I actually bought it like because I watched it. Oh, that that okay. commentary. Oh. I was like, this is. This looks fun. Frozen this looks like can't be fun. Yeah. All right, so the real question is: I, obviously, we're I mean, like looking the at gap. the signs because uh. I see a gap. 
Where's ice? Or frozen? Where's frozen? Yeah. Oh, frozen, it's, is it, it says Heyman Frozen Bunny Gap. Frozen Bunny Gap Man. Yeah, so but it's bunny is the oh, green I sign. Gap is on the right. Where's frozen? Uh, it's buy more TP. <laughs> oh, I see it. I see it. Is it be sure to drink your oval team? Oh my god. Be buy more sure TP. Oh, that's good. Drink. Buy Wait, no. more. Oh, because it's frozen is my... on the banner. You click the yeah. image to put the glasses on. Yeah, 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 but like it. Oh. oh. Wait, what? This is weird because it says that frozen sign is in the in the glasses picture, but not the other picture. Oh, it's on I see. both. It's on both. I, not for not for me. Uh, Maybe you're just buy. not seeing it because I see it on both. Buy more what? Where's where do you see a frozen picture? Oh, it's it's, right. it's a it's, pole it's in the, the middle of the. It's a pole it's in the middle of the, the screen, line, and it? you can see yeah. it. It's hanging oh, okay. So if you click on the following picture, if you look on the left, the far left of the image, there's a the the, the image is cropped differently, and it's it's pulled out, and you can see that there's a frozen sign on the oh, left. There is a frozen sign right there on the left. Uh, Maybe you guys are too zoomed in. No, no, no. It it's is, it's like it, it's to the image size. There's different ones. It is by more they're TV. It's they're they're, they're they're actually cropped differently. It's so yeah. silly. That's they could have just day. used the same image. So buy more TP. Yeah. Buy more TP. Buy more TP. Hey! One of my favorite fucking movies in the world. I love and it. And I get to read this one. Yeah. Nice. Ludicrous speed. You wake up to find yourself in an impossibly huge ship. A short man stands before you in a giant black helmet surrounded by men dressed in white with light bulbs on their head. You are yourself dressed in a, a gray commander's uniform that feels like it's made out of plastic. One of the technicians in white calls out to you. Captain, we have ex exited ludicrous speed, but overshot the escapees. They are nowhere to be found on our radar. The short man in black looks at you. Just great. We lost Princess Vespa in the Lone Star ship. How are we going to find them now? You have an idea. You tell corporate to get you a copy of Spaceballs, the movie out of Mr. Rental Machine. He finds the instant cassette and you enter it into the VHS player. Oh, click the image of the cassette to the right in order to play the movie from a certain point of view. Solve the puzzle on the control panel in the hopes of moving on past this ridiculous situation. What might Lone Star be happy to find on the moon of Vega? So all the orange okay. are from the responses. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, so W. So, no. Okay. Two. Now is is O, right? Oh, because the, Where? the, the Why tan are you doing ones. That? Yeah, the tan ones, uh, the orange ones are the are the clue, or the answer, I guess. So oh, it's a cross So when does this in the movie? Now. What happened so, to them? Oh. Uh, we, we just passed then? What did he say? Here, I'll... Because I'll, I'll, I think it's... Just... I'm assuming it's... Alright, so it's now we passed then. Okay, so O is the first letter. Yeah. So it's O-A? We passed then just now. S. And then the third letter's S. Well, the last letter is S, but I don't know what the... Just now. Yeah. What? O-A? Doesn't make any sense. So few words start with O-A. When now? He says, go back to then, and he says, when? And he says, now. But this is so many letters. <laughs> W-E-R-E. O E past now. Why we missed it? Oh, we okay. We, oh, that one's O E S Oasis. 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 Yep, it's Oasis. Uh, what's, wait, what's the last one? One will then be now. Soon. Oh, that's right. Soon. Yeah. <laughs> ah. 
That makes oh, that's sense. a like, fun hey, one. I like this that. This ties into uh, what we were talking about with uh, day after tomorrow being tomorrow. Uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow oh! being oh, the day after tomorrow's thing. Breakfast Club. <laughs> hey, another fucking phenomenal movie. Honestly, another I love Breakfast Club. Banger, banger, banger. banger. <laughs> Honestly, um, that clue should have been Champagne Supernova. Anyway. Okay. Don't mess with the bull. Uh, you just bought yourself another Saturday. <laughs> um, Asia, do you want to read it? We're not following initiative anymore? It's fine. If you want, if, I mean, I, if you want to read it. You also, come I don't out, get to read Spaceballs I, or Breakfast Club. Well, no, you can, no, say, no, Tony? Listen, no, no, no. <laughs> Shut I, up. Go I do. I'm okay with Tony reading it because I got to read his movie. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> you come out of the blue light to find yourself Aww. inside of a high school library. This time, <laughs> you are all alone and it's quiet. Dressed in a tan suit. What is up with these tan suits? It looks like you're wearing baby. something out of a Barry Manilow out of Barry Manilow's closet. Your body is tired, and you have a feeling that it's the end of what was a very long day. It's empty inside the library, but the smell of teen spirit lingers in the air. You can almost smell yeah. the faint remnants of smoke lingering in the air. This is familiar to you, as you've been in more than your fair share of high school detentions. This time, though, it seems your principal is in charge. Left on one of the tables, you find a note that appears to be addressed to you. Read the note and find the code hidden within what the kids call themselves in order to move on. Okay. Dear Mr. Vernon, each of us accept mm, each of us accept I mean, the fact. Go ahead. What? I was I gonna say you just want to start rushing to the solution because uh every fifth letter is the first hint. And so it's niche. <laughs> oh, it's every fifth letter of this, the brain criminal princess athlete in basket case? Yes, it's just niche. Okay. Great. <gasps> Labyrinth. <laughs> okay. Oh, ta- Labyrinth? Baby! You remind me of the bay. David fucking Bowie is... Good David nice. Bowie. Can I tell you a story? Uh, sure. Please. Absolutely. Uh, when we were kids, um, I had a neighbor who lived, like, I, we, had, we were friends with, like, uh, the people who lived behind us. Like, uh, they had kids that were, like, our ages, my, me and my siblings. And um, uh, their mom, uh, whom I loved, uh, was, like, she just, she had David Boy's haircut from Labyrinth, like, 100%. And, like, my brother literally thought that she was david bowie from labyrinth like because he was he was very young <laughs> and he was like oh the goblin king lives in our backyard, like, <laughs> <In the> backyard. <laughs> that's awesome that's, that's awesome did they uh, w- never once thought to walk up to them and ask oh no he talked hey. to all the time he was just like he was just like oh, he just three thought. and uh, thought that it was, he was like i i grew up thinking that the goblin king lived in our backyard <laughs> <laughs> David Bowie. All right. Uh, who's doing this one? Ground I'll take control it. to Major Tom. Okay. Dance, magic, dance. Oh, the God. whirling blue tunnel drops you onto stone floors. You stand to find yourself in a maze or a labyrinth of some sort. Ew. The walls seem like a jumble of stairs and windows and more walls. You climb down a set of stairs and go through a door, only to reappear back in the previous room, but on the other side. What is this place? Before you stands a man with long hair dressed in leather. He starts to sing, but stops at your bewilderment. (laughs) Sarah, you precious thing. Everything I've done, I've done for you. (laughs) Do you know who I am? He asks. (laughs) Solve the maze and find the code <laughs> to find it's David fucking Bowie. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So I just uh, I pulled up paint and I solved the maze in paint. Uh, so I'm just gonna send this little uh, image over to throw up.
background. The real question <laughs> is, is, do the colors of the letters actually make a difference? Yes, they do, because what it says is unscramble the blue letters, um, oh. then read. I see. Goblin. Okay, oh, sunglasses. Oh, yeah, really I, can, uh, goblin. I can read. Does it say goblin? And yes, it's yeah. goblin. Nice. Goblin. That's funny. I have it, it's screen sharing, and I have a folder called Goblins <laughs> <laughs> on my uh, on my um, internet. Wait. So the code is Goblin. I would assume so. No, no it isn't. No, it's it's goblin, it should be Goblin, goblin King. King. Uh, I accidentally spoiled the the uh, the answer. Wow. Spoiler. Wait. Why King? Spoiler alert. Yo. Why king? Because that's who he is. Like in the I movie, know, but... he's the Goblin King. Oh, it's not working though. It works uh, for me. It's two words. He's oh, there you go. I don't know. He's Mark. Oh, oh, caca, no good. Ooh. Mm, mm, <laughs> Ooh, mm, caca. Mm. No good. A little bit of gremlin up in here. Are, are we sure we're not talking about his bingo L's? Like, are we sure what? about scrambles to goblin? What? Nagarams, what? don't worry about it. What in the fuck? Okay. And, uh, Grant, uh, the letters also unscramble to Bingo L. Oh, do they? Uh, <laughs> so, like, Bingo L. Bingo L's. Bingo What's L's. the solution to this puzzle? Where's the, he where's fucking the K? sucks at Bingo. Oh, I was just doing the word goblin. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, kings, not part of it. Kings it's don't bingo take L Bingo kings. L's. Uh, or, unless if you're the king of taking L's in Bingo. Okay, who's gonna do this one? I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Gizmo caca. No goo. You wake from your blue world induced daze to find yourself standing at the top of an outdoor staircase. It leads down towards a tight city street. None of this sounds real. There, is, there are large apartment residences on both sides of the street with shops on the ground floor. You're in Montreal. The streets are crowded with people bargaining for wares as steam comes up from the tunnels below. Below the city to fill the air with mystery. A kid calls to you. Come on, mister. My grandfather's shop is this way. <laughs> you enter through you an know? old wooden door. Hmm? You're all getting a voiceover credit. I'm... Oh, <laughs> I love this. The small shop is packed to wall, a wall to wall with intriguing oddities. Behind a counter stands an old man smoking from a long stem pipe. He offers you the pipe. The kid tells you to look around and see if you can find something you like. You decide it's best to explore the shop and see if you can find anything of use. The shelves are covered with ancient artifacts from days gone by. Then something catches your ear. It's the sound, the sound of an animal mumbling. You wander through the store toward the sound and discover a small creature inside a wooden cage. You say hello to the furry beast, and in return, he starts singing to you in a low, soothing melody. What is this kid? What? No. <laughs> what is this kid? You ask as you watch the thing in astonishment. <laughs> it's a mogwai, says the old man from behind the counter. Oops. I must have him, you exclaim. I'll give you anything, even a hundred dollars for it. You offer the kid's grandfather, and you turn to him. I'm sorry, Mogwai is not for sale. With Mogwai comes much responsibility, he retorts, and hands you a sheet with warnings and images on it. Figure out what the old man is warning you about in order to move on. I mean, you know you can't feed him after midnight. Okay. Is it midnight? It's midnight. Fun well, fact, so it's, all times uh, are after midnight. Six letters, because there are six pictures, and one of them is G3. Star. It's not a starfish. Is it a starfish? I can't tell. Starfish. Oh, I see. Alright, so this first one says strike card. I don't know what card, that is. No mercy. So it's the bottom image has six pictures in a row. 
and then the top image has a grid of letters and numbers, and then you go back to figure out what letter that is. So, for example, the third image is the starfish. You find it on the grid. It's G3, and then G3 correlates to the letter R. So the third letter of the password's R. I'm trying to find the snake thing. Oh, so it's the symbols D3. are the images are the Cobra Kai and emblem. The yeah, where is um, that? D three. I don't know. Oh, D three. Okay. All right. So S. I'd the say that's D four. I think it's D four. Or maybe D three. No, you're. I see. I see. I see. I thought it was the circle below the snake. Oh yeah. Because no. then we've got the Ecto Trap from Ghostbusters. The the um five pointed throwy blade thing from a movie I can't remember. E five um, is the E five uh, is yeah. The echo trap. E man sword. So T S T. The sword from Thundercats, and I don't know the last one. Uh, it's Zoltar from uh Big. Yeah. Oh, is it? Legend okay. of yeah. Zoltar. A five. S P S T something something P. Stop. <laughs> so it's star. Yeah, so stars star... on the right. It's G four, G three, G three. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, G. So that's R G R E G R. No, wait, no. What is it? S T R something P. Stripe. What's that sword? The sword is in the. T is it five? Strike was one of the gremlins, right? A five. No, but that's a different sword. Oh, the uh, He Man sword. Yeah, Sorry. exactly. There are two swords. You you saw uh, He Man's. We're looking for uh, He Man's is an I. Is it the one above his head? No. Two C. He, no, He Man's. Is, I the, the Thundercat sword is the left side. I can confirm it's, it's strike. It's a, a five. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I know. Yeah. yeah. C two oh, okay, is okay, the okay, other one. Sword. C2 is I. Oh, I see. It's right behind. Uh... Yeah. P, and then where's Sol? Oh, he's over Dude, there. 3, F3. All, and I am so sorry. E. Stripe. It's Stripe. Yeah, it's super duper Stripe. It's just Stripe. Yeah. That's the answer? Yeah. Could be. It's Apple Pay. Yep. Okay. Is this Clue? Who's taking this one? There's lots uh, of voices. Nice Can initiative? I do? Oh. <laughs> uh, I think which one is Nate was. was. Yeah. Yeah, because I did six. Seven. Eight, You're good. Nine, it's, we're still going. Nine. We're yeah. going initially. All right. So cool. it's Nate, then Asia, <laughs> me. Flames. Wait, can I do the woman's eight. voice with you? Oh, yeah, yeah. You can do it. Sure. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah, I'm just going to do the woman's yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tag you. Tag her. Her. All right. Yeah. Get ready. <clears throat> As your vision comes back, you find that you're inside of an old mansion. You are dressed as a butler, and before you stands a number of dinner guests. You are all together in the main hall of this estate, while a strong storm puts on a theater display outside. The lady in the green dress breaks the silence. Well, who did it? She asks. <laughs> they all look to you for an answer, but you just don't know yet. It's probably best to find out some more information from everyone. So you state, let's recap everything we know so far. All right, so we're stuck in the 80s. Uh, we just got warned about gremlins. Uh, I really want to get back to the present day. I, oh, okay. Yep, okay. the, the <clears throat> 12th puzzle is recall all of the movies in order. Oh, a total recall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Scarlet in the dream... Dream grass, yikes. <laughs> Miss Scarlet in the green dress speaks first. Well, it wasn't me because I was in the conservatory the whole time. I was with you in the conservatory the whole time. Together, after the lights came back on, we found the rope laying on a table inside of the lounge. We know each person, including the murderer, was either in the hall, lounge, kitchen, library, or the ballroom when the lights went out. Miss Peacock adds. And we know the murder weapon had to have been either that rope, a knife, a candlestick, a gun, or a lead pipe. Mrs. White shares her insight as she grips tightly onto a candlestick. 
Well, I've been looking for the evidence this whole time. And I can't tell you. And I can tell you, I didn't find a pipe in either the kitchen or the library. Colonel Mustard interjects. <laughs> what makes you think it was the pipe? It could have been the knife. I swear I saw it in one of the rooms next to the study. Mr. Green first glances at Hi, Mrs. Me. White. Then her candlestick. Well, I, for one, made sure that Mrs. White and I had exactly one room in between us at all times. Professor Plum turns to Colonel Mustard. Well, sir, I was in the hall when the lights went out, and I can say for certain that you were in a room directly across the house from the one with a knife in it. That's enough, you say, in a hope to quell the finger pointing. The gun is missing. Gentlemen, turn out your pockets. Ladies, empty your purses. Whoever has the gun is the murderer. You smile and then add. Besides, I believe I already know who did it. To move on, answer who has the gun and what room they were in. There is only one person in any room. Not all the rooms are occupied. If someone is in a room, they also have a weapon. Answer, 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 yeah, that's person. Also, right. bravo on the vocal range. That was, uh, <laughs> Asian, fantastic. That was great. Thanks. Nice, I do all nice. these voices for my kids when I read stories. <laughs> Excellent. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, okay. These images are all too dark to read with sunglasses on. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, very cool. Wait, what? What? Oh, they're going back on. Don't worry. I just need to puzzle first. Let's Puzzling. see. Okay, I was in the hall. Who was now? Who's in the conservatory? The night. Girl Mustard. Who's in the ballroom? Hall, lounge, kitchen, library, ballroom. Alright. Okay, there's a colonel. So, not the study. Does anyone have a full game room. of Clue on them? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's, okay, let's. Trying to break do, this down. Let me do PDF. <laughs> okay, so Mrs. White has the candlestick. Uh, pipe is not in kitchen or library. Mustard. Saw knife is adjacent to study. Knife is adjacent to study. Yes. And then green has candlestick. And no, no, Mrs. White has candlestick. Oh, Mr. White has candlestick. Right. Oh, um, green and white were exactly one room, two rooms apart. I, I think it's green. I, then... I am not going to be able to do this faster than you guys. Plum was in the hall, and Mustard was across the house from the knife. You're in the room directly across the house from the one with the knife in it. So it, where was the knife? Knife was adjacent to... The study. The study. So it could either be in the hall or the library. Okay. Uh, yeah. The pipe is not in the library. The pipe is not in the light. Okay. Oh, uh, Plum was in the hall. And so yeah. if Plum was in the hall... Oh, right. I feel like if Plum had the knife, he would just say he was in the room with the knife? So That's that not makes... the way that this works. <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's supposed just... to be fucking confusing. Oh, yeah, no, actually, you were we, in a room directly. We did recently play Werewolf. Uh, yeah. These things aren't always logical. So this is okay. my second time ever playing Clue, <laughs> and I'm having a mm. great time. <laughs> Are you I'm... not enjoying this? No, no, I am. I'm enjoying it so much. But I, I just want you to know it is only my second time playing ever. <laughs> okay. It's easier with physical it's pieces. Just a, it's a hand. Pro yeah. and and also yeah. if you write it down, it's a process of elimination. So it's kind of like. 
Okay. I, if I How can't much write do we it care? down, because I can, I can Same. throw this on paper and we can knock. This I think shit it's out. green. I think green's the only one that's unaccounted for. Yeah, Ooh. so it's green. I can make this but happen. But we need if to like. figure out what room he was in. I was one room away. I I was uh, Mr. Green was one room one room away from Mrs. White, who had the who had candlestick. The candlestick. the candlestick was. Yeah, no, that th this is the puzzle. We knew each person, including the murderer, including the murderer, was right. either in the hall, lounge, kitchen, library, or it says murder, including the murder. It does say murder. <laughs> Uh, know, a whole murder it. of crows. An entire murder of crows was there. Um, was either in the hall lounge. <laughs> Somebody just turns into a whole fucking group, group of crows. <laughs> just Batman fucking smoke bomb. Actually, I'm crows. Many. <laughs> Actually, I'm crows. I've been crows the whole time. Uh, like, okay, um, so. Plum turns to Mustard and says, I was in the hall when the lights went out. And I can say for certain that you were in a room directly across the house from the one with the knife. Mm -hmm. It's not Scarlet because the murder happened in a room okay. she wasn't in. Okay, so it's not the lounge. So uh, there are six kitchen, people, right? Or library. I think there's five. So if and it's you, not yeah, the lounge, then it's people. just library, hall, ballroom, or kitchen. Uh, so Scarlet, our five people are Scarlet, White, Green, Plum, and Mustard, right? And Peacock. So there is six people. It's not Scarlet, Scarlet White, Plum, because she was in a room that it didn't happen in. Scarlet. Um, peacock, mustard, and white. Okay, oh, and, and then the room. rooms that we have at play. Actually, I can see the rooms. There's just the thing, so. Ooh, this one has three hints. We don't need them. You We're sure? Here. Yeah, because I'm writing it down right now so we can eliminate oh, the shit easy okay. peasy. Cool. Oh my god. Oh, I He's figured yelling. it out. He's it's yelling. it's pe it's Peacock in the library. What? How did you figure it out? Oh my gosh, I did a little grid like it says to do, and then I filled in that grid and did process of elimination until no it was clear that the answer was Peacock in the library. You're Wait, telling me the answer was there the like entire this. time no in way. the grid? <laughs> we just had to hit the gritty and solve this? Yes, we had to hit the gritty and solve this. What wow. is gritty? That we can what? bust it down, bust it down, hit the gritty and solve. That's all. Oh my gosh. All right. Man. That sounds skibbity. Who did uh who did that? That was Nate Asia. This that sounds you. skibbity? To what? This, this Back is to the, the last present. one. Oh, this is the last one. Okay. You yeah. awake, to oh, find, well, you awake okay. again to find yourself staring down a dark road from the inside of a car. It's nighttime outside, but the multiple lights within the car provide a subtle glow to everything around you. You look around the interior and notice a bunch of electronics, a digital switch switchboard, a flux capacitor, and some flashing lights. A flux capacitor! Oh my god. You're inside of the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Outside, a clap of thunder breaks your astonishment, and you realize this is the end of the movie, the part where you need to race down the road to catch a, to catch lightning at the precise moment it strikes the clock tower. That was how you got enough power to travel back to the future. The switchboard shows the present date of 1955 and the previous date that you came from in 1985. In the movie, this is where you travel back to 1985, but maybe, just maybe, this time, you can also, oh, you can change so you can travel back to when you entered the original, your original time machine. There are so many odd controls though, and it appears as though Doc has locked the keypad to prevent you from changing the destination time. You notice a few two digit, two digit numbers written onto the keypad, four weird symbols below the destination time, and a grid applied on the top of the TFC drive circuit. You must use these three components to figure out the four-digit 
code to unlock the keypad and reset the time for your present. Enter the four digit code and return back to the present. Wow. Hmm. Where are the weird symbols? Three. There, uh, uh, scroll down. There's three pictures. Oh, oh. There's, Two, yeah. There we go. Okay, so the third clock is S. And the third S. Third clock? What do you mean, third clock? Okay, so oh, the yeah. clock three. is under the number three in the uh, destination. Oh, table. I see. Yeah, okay. And the clock under three on this grid is the letter S. But I don't know how the keypad plays yeah, into there's it. Two apps. Oh no, there's not. Yeah, there's two. The apps. letters eight one. So eight once, which would be T. Four three times. Oh. Which would be I. Time. Six once M and three twice E. Okay. I it's time. So time. And then so three is S. Uh, the radio. The second symbol is. M, the third is I, and the radioactive is S. Wait, what? S I E S? Doesn't even. Hmm. No, it's M. Oh. M. I. It's weird. This is in reverse, isn't it? It is. It's inverted. Oh, yes. It's inverted. Ta oh, okay. It might be the order. One, two. Oh, three, okay. Four. No, no, no. I think I see what happened. All right. So from the keypad, we get the word time, right? Yes. We have to turn mm -hmm. time back into numbers. So turn time back. into numbers up if I could turn. is <laughs> if I could first is the radioactive column, which is five. Second is the uh, I in following. the. It's so uh, one so numeral, numeral one. Is two. Numeral so two. it's five two. Uh, third is the clock and M, which is two. And four is the three dots and E, which is three. So five two two three. Come on, work, work, work. I escaped! I don't get it. Nice. Ah, congratulations. It's the present day. You reach the end of Back to the Present. Thank you so much for playing our online game. We hope this game brought you some joy and bonding. Did it bring us bonding, folks? Bonding. I feel closer to all y'all than I ever have been. Wow. What you There's say? nobody I would rather be stuck in a pastiche of 80s movies together with. Than Asia is guys. mad at me. Asia is mad at me. As it someone? Made, we did bond. <laughs> we did bond in a way because she's more mad at me than she's ever been, I feel. As someone who is newly ha, has newly found love for the game Clue, mm -hmm. I don't like having skipped it. Uh, I, I want to know. E even if we don't like finish it in order i want to know so well, what you're saying I is guess. you want to play clue we could play clue we'll just have to come back for the usual npcs usual in between game night clue edition Ooh. Whoa. maybe maybe Sign thank you that. guys um, thank you this has been the usual thank npcs you. the usual in between the usual in between game night. uh i hope the you enjoyed escape this escape room if you want to see us do more escape rooms, please like and comment. Um, if not, comment anyway. Tell us you hate us. All right. Thank you. Uh, tell us how dumb Adios, we are for bye. not having figured out quickly enough. Bye. -bye. bye. Stay bye. zesty. Hydrate. Hydrate or dihydrate. Or dihydrate.